Hi everyone, it's Jess. I'm back again with a new video for you. I thought it would be fun to do an Easter themed um, art lesson today. Um, can you believe that it's almost Easter? It's crazy. Anyway, so I thought um, maybe you would like to do it as a card and you could send it to someone. You could either do a physical card and we'll make it out of paper or you could do it on your tablet or computer and you can email it or message it to someone that you love. This would be a great um, gift for maybe a grandparent or your teacher um, who I'm sure is missing you. Um, or a friend, maybe someone at school, or a co-worker if you're an adult doing this, um, or maybe for uh, your, one of your parents or a sibling. Anyway, so if you're going to do it on paper, the first thing you want, you can just get some printer paper or whatever paper you have at home, anything works, and uh, just fold it in half, okay, meet the corners, okay. And then you can either draw on it this way so that the flap is open at the bottom and draw on this side. Or you can turn it around and you can draw on the front like that. So it opens like that. Okay. So we're going to draw a bunny today, an Easter bunny, and a chick in an egg. And it's inspired by the book from Bunnies by the Bay of Nibbles. That's Nibbles right there and it's an adorable book and it's definitely got a, a nice spring Easter theme about Nibbles and how he gets to meet this wonderful little chap, this little surprise that he finds uh, inside of an egg and it turns out to be his new best friend, his little chick friend there. So that's the inspiration. Let's get started. We're going to draw and color today. Okay, let's go. I'm going to be drawing this on Photoshop today just because it's easier to show you step-by-step -step directions. So the first thing we'll do is start by doing a very light pencil drawing, okay? Um, let's see here. Alrighty then. Um, okay, we'll put that here, okay, and we're going to put that on multiply, and obviously if you're using a pencil, you're just going to press lightly, so my opacity is light here. So, nice, small, thin lines, and we're going to start with the bunny, who is a um, little Easter bunny, and then we'll do the egg and the chick. So we'll start with our basic shapes, again, so we're going to do... Oh, helps if you have a color. We'll do a brownish gray again, okay. And we're just gonna start again, make that a little bit darker, so you can see, with that kind of a squashed oval shape, bigger on the bottom and smaller on the top. Remember, it's okay to do scratchy lines that are scribbly, you're just trying to get that nice shape. Okay, so that will be his head. And then we'll put in his body, which is again like that pear shape. Thinner in the top and wider at the bottom. Great. And while we're here, we'll do his little feet at the bottom, which are just like those little half circles. One, two. Okay, great. And then we'll give him some little arms, which is like a, we're going to do more of like a U shape here on either side. Bring him up and then those little paws, kind of like a C shape there for a paw. And bring the arm around. Great. I think this will be a very cute card to send to somebody that you love. Okay, now the only difference here with this bunny is we're not going to do his ears going up. We're actually going to do his ears coming down because this Easter bunny has very long ears and they're so long that they flop down. So to do that, what I want you to do is to just bring the ears from here down like this. So this is going to be the ears. Don't worry if it doesn't look quite right yet. So it's just like a line on the outside of his body. Then you can do another line inside. That This will be the inside of his ear, either side. 
And then what I want to do is just have the ear be able to be seen a little bit here. So we're going to make the face come in just a bit. So his ears will be kind of coming up like this. And the face is just a tiny bit smaller. And I might need to bring that ear out just a bit more. There we go. So your face has come in a bit and the ears go up. And if you have an eraser, just you can clean that up a little bit just here so you can see where the ears are and where the face is. There we go. Long bunny ears. Okay. And remember, that's just your rough drawing. Okay. Now we're going to do the rough drawing of a little egg here and it's going to have cracked open. We're going to have a, a lovely little chick coming out. So first thing I want you to do is an egg shape, but not the whole egg. I want you to have it and it to be slightly off to the side. So like a U that's sort of turned on its side a little bit. Then we're going to have crack shapes. So this can be anything you want. So little V's, W's, sort of a crack and then however you like because it's just a cracked egg shape. Okay, and then at the points here where you've got like a V shape, just do a little squiggly crack line. So it makes it look like it's even more cracked. Like this chick has just come out of the egg. Okay, great. Now we're going to do this little chick popping out. So we're going to give him his head first. So we'll do a very basic, again, same sort of shape, that round squashed oval shape. Perfect. And then a little body. And we're only going to see a bit of his body here. So we'll just show the little bit that you can see in the egg. And then I think we'll have a little wing. How about a little wing coming out? So it's going to be a sort of swoop up here, down, and a little line to the body. Little wing there. That's cute. If you want, you can have another one here just sort of poking out. Hello. Now we'll give him a little beak. That's going to be a little oval shape right here, quite low on his face, right in the middle, low on his face. And then I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Um, there we go. There we go. And on either side, we'll just do the eyes. Remember that, how I like that sort of a lemon drop shape, quite low to his beak. And to give the chick a little smile, what I want you to do is over here on the right side, just a little line, a little, almost like a dot there. And then just bring that line in and you're going to kind of make it like the bottom of the beak is a smile. Does that make sense? So you've got a smile with a little dot there. See how it makes it look like he's smiling? We'll give him some eyebrows. Very sweet little chick. And we'll give the bunny while we're here her face. Find the middle of the face and do the little nose, a little squashed U and a little line under it and a smile off to the right side is where I like to do it but you can do it any way you want. And then again eyes. On either side. A bit bigger. Great. Okay, and some eyebrows. A bit thicker in the middle. Going up so it looks like he's happy. Happy smiling Easter bunny. Very sweet. Okay, so that's our basic drawing done. Now we're going to go back in and we're going to give him some fluffy fur. So if you're on a computer or a tablet, get another layer. This time when you're using your pencil, you can press harder, okay? I'm going to do slightly thicker lines. Okay, 
zoom in and we're just going off of the circles that yeah you know, the circles the lines we've already done so this might be a bit thick yeah let's go to a six okay so now we're just going to give him like a fluffy head he's going to have lines here for it following the curve of his head and his ears I'm going to have them come out a little bit fluffy and then going down his ear lovely and we'll go ahead and do the other side while we're here okay and then going all the way down to his side here his body and then we'll do the same on this side okay so we've got the ears done and we're going to go up to this side and do a line down and then we'll start we'll go up again and we'll do the side of his face and as you can see I start bringing the hairs out and bringing them down leave a little gap here start on the other side very sweet little bunny okay and we'll go down his body might as well get the arms while we're here. So I like those little fluffy elbows. And here's where we're going to do our paws. So go over the lines you already did. They're not very fluffy. And add that little line to make it look like it's a paw. And then fluffy elbows again. Great. Going to do the side. Okay, and this side too. Don't worry about all those messy lines, we'll clean those up. And then we're going to do his paws at the bottom here. Go over your lines, do one, two little lines to make it look like a paw, and then the line in between his two paws. That half circle. And one, two lines on this side, great! Now we're just going to go over his face a bit more. I'm going to make his eyes a bit bigger this time. Sweet. Little eyebrows. Little U nose. It looks like a sort of a strange T. There we go. Very sweet little bunny. Okay, now we'll go over to our chick. And he looks quite silly because he's a bit too smooth. So we're going to give him some nice fluffy lines too. I like to give the chicks a little bit of a kind of a fun um, hairstyle <laughs> at the top. I'll show you what I mean. I like to give him a little whoop. There we go. And then bring the hair down. Your cheeks. Lines, fluffy lines, no cheeks. And again, I leave that this bit in the middle, I don't go over that too much. Go over his smile and the beak a little. You can do a couple hairs there if you like. Go over his eyes. I'm going to make those a bit bigger too. His little eyebrows. And then his little arm here, a wing down his side. And his other little wing just popping out here, a few lines there very sweet and then the egg the egg is just not obviously got fluffy lines <laughs> so you're just going over the top of what you already did this is where you can put in a bit more detail you can make your lines a bit darker um, your more permanent lines and add those cracks there very good okay lovely so we've done our drawing we're going to clean it up just a bit, my first light drawing, so I'm just going to clean up a few areas that I, I don't want. You don't have to do this. There we go. I just like to have, I like to leave some of that original drawing, but not all of it. There we are. I think this would be really nice if you made this for somebody and sent it to them. 
And don't forget to send me your art. I absolutely love seeing what you're creating. And there's been some really great stuff. And I'm actually putting them all together and making a compilation of everybody's art. And I'm going to show it on my social media, my Facebook and Instagram soon. So I would love it if you sent me what you do. Okay. Just gonna, it's got a little bit of a strange line right here. There we go. Okay. Brilliant. So now we're going to color our little chap here and we'll go ahead and get a new, oh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, we'll use this layer. We're gonna start coloring. So let's do the bunny first. Make him a cream colored bunny. I'm going to use a watercolor. You can obviously use um, anything you like. Colored pencils, paints if you have them. Oops, sorry, that's other art I'm working on. No, there we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now, let's color the bunny first. I like to start with the lightest color first and then get darker. So we're going to do a light cream on the bunny. And then we're going to put in a slightly darker. And remember where you want your light to be. So if you want it to be coming, your sun is like from the left side, you would make it darker going to the right. Okay, no shadow. And again, see how I left a gap? Okay, and I'm just going to be basically pressing a little bit lighter, so I don't want it to be too extreme. And get darker as we go off to the side. There we go, perfect. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of gray. Smaller brush, just for a little shadow under his arms, down his side, on the right side of his paws and in between there, on his ear a little, on this ear. And I think that's good. And then we're going to add some pink for his cheeks and his nose and inside his ears. So I'm going to do pink all the way inside his ears. So now you can really tell that these are ears. And you go darker as you're going up towards his face. See? There you go. Darker as you're getting there. Perfect. Give him some nice rosy cheeks. And I need to make my brush a bit smaller to get the nose. Very sweet. Okay, we're going to blend the bunnies color a little. Bit more in that. Okay. Just a bit, not too much. And if you're painting, you can uh, do this with watercolor with your brush, just sort of blend it a little. Get some water on your brush, get it wet, and then you can blend the color. If you're using colored pencils, you can use your finger, or you can use a special kneading tool if you have one, a blending tool. Or obviously if you have a computer like me, oops, um, you can use uh, the blending tool on your um, app you're using. Okay, now we're gonna go for the chick. So he's gonna be yellow. Start with a nice bright light yellow. Slightly bigger brush. I, and you can go over the beak because the beak we're going to do orange and because yellow is in orange, it's you don't need to worry about not coloring in the beak. You can, it will just make your orange a little more orangey. That's a bit dark, I want a brighter orange, brighter yellow, there we go. 
There we go. And obviously where his body is near the shell, it's going to be darker. It's going to be more shadow here by the shell, right? And then again onto the right side of his face and near the bottom of his face. So the darkest points will be near the bottom and the right. There, lovely. Give him some orange here for his, his little beak. Very sweet. Make it a little darker on the right there. And I also will give him some slightly rosy cheeks as well. Very cute. Okay, we're going to, again, just blend it a little. <laughs> Not too much, because I do like those lines. I do like to be able to see the paint lines. Very sweet. Now, I think we'll do... Wouldn't it be fun if this was like a coloured Easter egg that he popped out of? So why don't we do, uh, you can do any colour you want, obviously it's your picture. I'm going to do kind of a light aqua colour. And I'm going to colour the whole thing first in this light aqua colour. And then again underneath and more to the right side. And again. And again, so you see how you built up shadow. And darkest right there. Very cute. And we will blend that as well. Just a little. And then I think it would be funny to do some polka dots. I think I'm gonna go with some, let's see, I think I'll do, you can do any color you want. I'm gonna do purple. Put that on multiply, uh, sorry, a normal, and then just some purple and maybe some different sized polka dots. How cute. Maybe a few small ones. So it looks like you colored an egg and he just popped out of it. <laughs> there we go. How sweet. So they kind of look like they're floating right now, so I wouldn't mind just putting a little shadow in. I like to usually do a sort of a grayish blue shadow. So perhaps we'll do that real quick, just a little bit of a shadow. Um, going to add one layer underneath here. And let's see. Going to just do a bit of a shadow here. Oh, that's a bit dark for me because I like to even build up my shadows lighter to darker. So you can do like a little light blue if you like, and then make it darker as it's getting closer to your characters. There we go. There. Now it looks like they're standing on something. Wonderful, I'm just going to, oops. Blend it a little, not too much, not too big. There we go. And there we go, you know, they look like they're sitting there. And you've even learned how to do a shadow today. Brilliant. So there you have it, there's your little Easter bunny. It, wouldn't that be cute as a card? And don't forget you could write something like Happy Easter or just a little note or a message. Anyway, so send me your art. I would love to see it. Well done. you finished your Easter bunny and your chick. See, aren't they cute? So I hope that you'll uh, make your art into a card and send it to someone and give them a smile. Don't forget to send me your artwork and stay tuned for more art lessons. I'll see you all soon. Bye.